just blocking off with the center pawn developing the knight developing the second knight and the bishop looking for king castling it's all simple straightforward stuff and castling king safety so looking at the development of the pawn I, I just said to myself oh it looks like they've run out of ideas so we start pushing our pawn through the center open, opening up our white square bishop and develop the bishop so in my head I felt like I'd won the smallest of tempi just because of this pawn move that they made here I was then trying to take advantage of that now we can attack us the higher piece with a lesser piece and they actually move their bishop back so we're constantly now attacking this higher piece they could at any stage look to be brave and actually whip that pawn off the board taking it with the knight and then it opens up space around the king can get messy if you're confident you can get away with it sometimes but I thought well I'll keep pressure on so we kept the pressure on the bishop again bringing the knight through they capture ours we capture theirs we're on a higher piece which is the rook so it was a fair decent exchange as far as I could see and the knight captures the knight but he's on our queen so we have to be mindful of that so then we capture back and then they capture our knight back so having a look at the tail of the tape and the position on the board we've kind of to me won a little bit of space towards their king area on their king side so decide now to start attacking and getting pieces off the board queen comes down it's saying that that's a, uh, a duff move and we start pushing through the center saying that's a duff move but we wanted to just try and open up space around the um, king area more so because we've already established this file but we don't want to over egg anything we just want to keep that one in our back pocket showing white as winning at the moment and we capture back but we have a plan we have a plan of trying to manipulate these files here as best possible bishop comes down so now we support but we're actually trying to open up our queen because like we said we're trying to focus really on these files here because the king that's where the king is and we're just keeping it in our back pocket so we bring the queen out saying that's a duff move and they bring their queen back and it's protecting the pawn here so um, to me that was a major loss in tempo that's what's going on in my head whether it actually is or not that's a different kettle of fish but in my head that was a major loss in tempo so we could capture the knight saying that's a double double duff move <laughs> okay with a check on the king and we bring our rook through now looking to put pressure towards their queen still keeping this file in our back pocket and this file as well just hoping that we can make something of that so we start bringing the rook through trying to own this file in front of the king at least and they bring their rook behind their king so that means our bishop can take anything it can go anywhere so we took the um, pawn here because we've got a check on with the rook rook moves out of the way and we can take the bishop because we've got support on our rook so the grab grab and they came for our queen maybe they should have taken the bishop because we're like a, a piece up but uh, we shall see so these are the key areas the files that we're looking at controlling from the beginning of the game keeping them in our back pocket so the rook comes up putting pressure onto the king king goes back and the queen comes round here and basically it's kind of like the get end of the game it's a checkmate so that's a good spot and it wasn't quite this file but it was one close enough to it being in the back pocket and taking advantage of those key spaces so that was an interesting interesting development on focusing on stuff that is actually going to have an impact on the player not just for you know taking a piece sake it's like position on the board 